What are the key components of your Kung Fu Panda idea? Objection asked and answered a number of times already. It, is it, are the key components all of the things you already described that, that constituted your Kung Fu Panda idea? I believe so, yes. Were there any other components to your Kung Fu Panda idea that may not have been key components, but nonetheless are included in your Kung Fu Panda idea? Objection vague as to the time. Is this, I'm not sure what year this is. You can answer. Well, I worked on the project for a number of years with various writers. Um, key components of the idea, I guess the key components of the original idea? Yes. Was what I said to you. Okay. Were there other components of the original idea? Uh, no, I don't believe so. In your Kung Fu Panda idea that you originally conceived of, mm -hmm. did your Kung Fu Panda have a teacher? Well, I did write a document um, that had the panda um, being taught Kung Fu by a, uh, a teacher. That was subsequent, correct? But that was subsequent. So my question was, going back to your original idea, mm -hmm. can you answer that question? Uh, I don't believe that there was a teacher in that idea. The idea that I said to you was the idea. Nothing more than that at all? No. And I understand, of course, the development that occurred between the time that you conceived of your Kung Fu Panda idea and the time that Kung Fu Panda was released as a movie. Uh, but I want to ask about your contributions in particular, if we can separate out what more you specifically did to contribute, okay? Yes. After you conceived of the idea, what more, if anything, did you personally contribute? And you can go chronologically. Well, I had asked for research to be done on China, on pandas on whether or not pandas had predators, uh, characteristics of a panda, what did they eat, where did they live, uh, what their social structure was like, did they have families. Um, I had asked for research on um, other animals in China to figure out how, you know, who we were going to populate this movie with. I had asked for research on um, Kung Fu and martial arts films to see what kind of um, stories have been told in this genre in cinema before. I would characterize all that as research. Other than the research that you just described, mm -hmm. is there anything else that you personally contributed to what became the movie Kung Fu Panda. Hmm. I'd object that. Just to the extent you can recall. And, and there are documents that you can show the witness that would refresh his recollection that you're choosing not to show him. You're asking elements in the final film. Is this, what are you asking? I'm, I'm lost. 
What was your question? <laughs> um, you were in the process of telling us what more you personally contributed mm -hmm. to what ultimately became Kung Fu Panda, the movie. Mm -hmm. So you've already told us right. one large one, obviously, was conceiving of the idea, correct? Yes, right. And another thing was you asked for research to be done, right? Correct. Is there anything else you can think of? Well, as a small example, I named the character of Shifu. Anything else that you can think of? I had suggested at one point that um, uh, perhaps that we should start the film with Poe's dream, that was the, the panda, to explain what his aspiration was, what his dream was. Um, to make it clear to the audience what the character wanted. Anything else? I hired and oversaw the writers uh, who were uh, first hired to write the treatment and subsequent drafts of the screenplay. Have you completed your answer? I think so, yes. Did anyone other than you also oversee the writers? Uh, yes, Lance Young, who was my boss. When you said you asked for research, who did you ask to conduct the research? Um, we had a researcher at the time. Um, I believe it was Tim Perry. Um, We had several researchers while I was there. Um, I don't know if Tim was the one at the time who was asked to do it, but he was, I believe, the researcher who was employed there at the time. In your Kung Fu Panda idea, you said that the panda has to learn Kung Fu to defend the community, oh, withdraw that. In your Kung Fu Panda idea, you had the element of a panda saving a village, correct? Correct. What was the inspiration for that, if you recall? Hmm. Well, I would imagine that somebody who knows Kung Fu would have to use it to defend something. So why not a village? What portion or portions of your Kung Fu Panda idea made it into the movie Kung Fu Panda? <clears throat> um, the part where the movie is about, uh, it takes place in China, and the lead character is a panda who learns Kung Fu in order to save his village. That's the entire portion of your Kung Fu Panda idea, correct? Yes. It's, I take it there are other components to the Kung Fu Panda movie other than 
your Kung Fu Panda idea. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes. And what are the other components other than your Kung Fu Panda idea? Well, what do you mean by component? I'm trying to get a sense from you of the difference between your Kung Fu Panda idea and the actual movie Kung Fu Panda, okay? I still don't understand what you mean. Are there differences between your Kung Fu Panda idea and the movie Kung Fu Panda? Well, one is a sentence, one is a 85 minute film. Okay. So obviously there's probably more in a film than there is in the original idea. Okay, so it's expanded upon, correct? Yes. And, and I apologize if some of these questions right. seem obvious to you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence by any means, okay? Um, so other than being expanded upon, are there other aspects to the movie that were not part of your Kung Fu Panda idea? Yes. Okay. Give us a list of what they are, if you could. Um. I object. It calls for a narrative and a description of an hour and a half worth of dialogue, text, animation, characters, and is a completely improper question. You could tell me if you're unable to answer the question. Well, I mean, there's music, there's the visuals. The character design, the location design, the animation itself, the actors who were chosen to uh, voice the roles, um, dialogue, action, um, the villain. Uh, the other um, characters beyond the panda character. Um, the idea that he's fat and that is a hindrance to him performing Kung Fu. This idea of a dragon warrior. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the first film plot. Um, I think I just explained to you all the components that make up an animated film. Thank you. That you reported directly to Mr. Young, correct? Yes. Was that true of your entire tenure at DreamWorks? Yes. Oh, sorry, no. I was hired as an assistant originally. I reported to a woman named Alicia Gold, who was a development executive. Um, and then when she left and Lance uh, took her place, then I reported to Lance. So you were initially hired as an assistant, yes? Yes. And when your immediate boss left, they switched you over to Lance Young, correct? Yes. And was that the first that you had worked with Lance Young? Yes. So prior to your being switched over to him, you hadn't worked directly for him, correct? Uh, that's correct. I had never worked with him before. And when you transferred over to work for him. Were you an assistant or did you become an executive? When he first got there, I was an assistant. No, I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. When you were transferred to work for Mr. Young, were you an assistant for Mr. Young or were you an executive or is it one and the same? I, I object in that it's compound and it's vague and it misstates testimony as 
to the witness switching to Lance Young as opposed to the opposite? I was not an assistant to Lance. Okay, that's my question. Um, you said before that uh, when, you're, when you were an assistant, your immediate superior left at some point, correct? Yes. Okay. At that point when she left, did you become something other than an assistant? Yes. What was that? Creative executive. And how did that come about that you became creative executive? Um, my boss at the time was Alicia Gold. She was the executive who I was an assistant for. She decided to leave the company. Um, I wondered what was going to happen to me, because um, obviously I wasn't an assistant to her anymore. Um, Lance came into the department to run the department. Um, it was not a big department. There were very few people in it. Um, and since I had at least a year of experience in the department, he gave me the opportunity and promoted me to a creative executive. And approximately what year was that? 2000. So what was your daily routine once you become, became an executive? Um, to, um, to read scripts. Um, to hire and supervise writers, um, to oversee research, um, to um, take pitches from writers, um, to uh, develop uh, treatments and screenplays with writers that we hire. Um, to take lunches with agents and managers, uh, sometimes with writers, producers, and directors, um, to attend uh, internal uh, storyboard meetings, to, to attend uh, internal visual development reviews, art reviews, um, to read books. Uh, to uh, read material that could be uh, source material for a animated motion picture. Um, yeah, that's it. As an executive, uh, was there pressure upon you to come up with ideas? Well, there is always pressure in any job to perform. Um, the pressure comes from um, uh, developing movies so that we can make them. Um, there was no specific pressure put on me to be the originator of those ideas. Um, but uh, my job was to you know, develop movies so that they could be produced by the studio. To the extent there was pressure on anybody within the company to be the originator of ideas, would that pressure have been directed to your boss, Mr. Young, rather than you? Objection calls for speculation. Just your understanding. Um, no, I don't think that Lance was under pressure to come up with an original idea of his own. Where did the 